All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem nine over four to the power of nine over four. So to solve this, what I'm first gonna do is rewrite nine over four as three squared over two squared. So now I have three squared over two squared to the power of nine over four. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. So 3 to the power of 2 over 2 to the power of 2 is going to equal 3 over 2 to the power of 2. And now I have this over 9 over 4, or sorry, to the power of 9 over 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 over 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 9 over 4. This is the same thing as 3 over 2 to the power of 2 times 9 over 4. And this is equal to 3 over 2 to the power of 18 over 4. And 18 over 4 simplifies to 9 over 2. So I have 3 over 2 to the power of 9 over 2. However, now I'm going to rewrite 9 over 2. So 9 over 2 is the same thing as 4 plus 5 over 2. And 4 plus 5 over 2 is equal to 4 over 2 plus 5 over 2. And 4 over 2 is simply equal to 2. So I get 2 plus 5 over 2. So now I'm going to substitute in 2 plus 5 over 2 in place of 9 over 2. So I get 3 over 2 to the power of 2 plus 5 over 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 3 over 2 to the power of 2 plus 5 over 2 is going to equal 3 over 2 to the power of 2 times 3, 3 over 2 to the power of 5 over 2. And now 5 over 2 is the same thing as the square root of 3 over 2 to the power of 5. And 3 over 2 squared is the same thing as 3 squared over 2 squared. So now from here, 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, so I get 9 over 4 times the square root of 3 over 2 to the power of 5. And now what I'm going to do is rewrite the square root of 3 over 2 to the power of 5 as 9 over 4 times the square root of 3 to the power of 5 over the square root of 2 to the power of 5. And this is allowed. I just divided these to, into the numerator and the denominator. Now from here, three to the, the square root of 3 to the power of 5, I can rewrite that as the square root of 3 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 1. And the square root of 2 to the power of 5, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to rewrite that as the square root of 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 1. And now we can divide this into the square root of 3 to the power of 4 times the square root of 3 over the square root of 2 to the power of 4 times the square root of 2. 
Now the square root of 3 to the power of 4, that's equal to 3 to the power of 2. So I get 3 to the power of 2 times the square root of 3 over the same thing with square root of 2 to the power of 4. That's equal to 2 squared times the square root of 2. Now, 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 9. So I get 9 over 4 times 9 root 3 over 2 squared. That's equal to 4. So I get 4 root 2. Now, 9 times 9 is 81. So I get 81 times the square root of 3 over 4 times 4 is 16. So 16 to the square root of 2. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. So this, now this is equal to 81 to the, times the square root of 6 over 16 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is simply equal to 2. So I get 16 times 2, which is equal to 81 times the square root of 6 over 32. So this is my answer in its most simplified form.